humans often consider themselves to be the highest form of life, the most advanced form of life. Some people even seem to think that other creatures are all trying to evolve into a human state of intelligence and that we're the only ones to have arrived. In fact, there are some far more successful creatures than humans around. There are vastly more ants and bees than there are humans, and they've achieved that without our intelligence. And some species, like sheep and grass, they've enslaved us, and they get us to promote their survival and reproduction. These other creatures have been around for far longer than humans, and they breed faster, so they've had far more generations to perfect their design. Humans, by comparison, are just prototype creatures, really. And for 99% of the time we've been around, we've been hunting and gathering. This farming experiment is really quite a recent thing, and, uh, well, it's yet to prove itself. Anyway, that's what this is all about. Lloyd. Thank you. Yes. Well, this is a pilot for a documentary series which will examine the consequences of the fact that humans are not designed to live in the modern world. Now, the sequences which follow do not all belong to the same program in the series, but uh, they have been selected for their ease and cheapness of production. And um, nonetheless, they, 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 they do illustrate the general intent, so uh, and a bit of a lark. So here we go. People are stupid, and animals are stupider still. They need encouragement to get them to do the things which are good for them. And to this end, mechanisms have evolved to make them feel good whenever they do something which is likely to help them reproduce, survive. You may have heard of endorphins, encephalins, endogenous opiates, doesn't really matter what they're called. They're signaling chemicals which the brain uses and can recognize as, for instance, pleasure. These bottles are overindulged. Why do they need all these chemicals jamming up their brains with all this pleasure nonsense? I'm sure things would be better without them. Hello Bert, up to much? Not really. I'm having a go at putting this in my mouth and ingesting it. I tried that, it's a waste of time. Yeah, well, I think my jaw is getting a bit tired. And that's not all, you'll only get heavier and you'll have to get rid of it again later, out the other end, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fancy a bit? Not really, I'm tired. Rest? Well, what's the point? Ah, perhaps now I see that these pleasure-inducing chemicals do have a role to play. Clearly, they're a good thing. <laughs> Let's give them loads. Bert, how are you doing? Harry, it's great to see you. You look fantastic. I haven't seen you in minutes. Uh, Harry, isn't the sky white? And, and isn't the ground brown? Oh, come over here. Try banging your head on the tree. It's brilliant. <laughs> Martha, let's do it now. Wait, no, I want to try something. Oh, it not show on your feet. Brilliant. I could do this all day. <laughs> ah, I think I already did it there. On reflection, I think perhaps all I really ought to do is let evolution determine over many generations which things should make humans feel good, and which should not. Humans are busy being hunter-gatherers, so they should get pleasure from things which are a benefit to hunter-gatherers. Hey, I'm hungry. Let's go hunting. Mm, great. The weather's looking great. You feeling better now? Yeah, definitely. Best kip I've had in a while. You know, you can never get tired of the taste of your own kill. Oh, especially after a chase like that one, eh? Yeah. Oh dear, the only thing you want to chase today. Oh, Martha. 
for whom I have saved the choicest cut. And what are you suggesting? you see, or perhaps I could call it Jupiter, for short. The snag is, you see, that while we've evolved to feel pleasure when we do things which our ancestors were doing all the time, like uh, hunting and eating and chatting and relaxing and making or trying to make little hunter-gatherers, now we don't live like them. Now the daily survival tasks include oh, getting up in time in the morning to catch the morning bus, um, revising for exams, re remembering to buy more nappies and filling in forms. Forms! Forms! Where are my endogenous opiates now that I need them? I hate this! Right, there's only one thing for it. I'm going to have to get some opiates into me some means or another.